good money. I think this is a good spot. Yeah. Let's call us. Deep within their target zone, the team will play a possible Bigfoot call that was recorded by a local preacher nearby in the hopes of receiving a return call. If they can elicit a response, it may give away the creature's position, allowing the team to gain a visual. Hey, Russell. Go, Maria. Hey, Russell, Ronnie and I have just gotten into position. Russell is stationed on a cliff with a high-powered speaker system that will blast the howl across the area. Ronnie and Maria are positioned in the hollow directly below him. Can't wait to hear this call. The game plan tonight is for Russ to play that vocalization from the ridge line and see if something responds. One concern is if there's an animal out there, we don't know what we'd be communicating to it. We could be making a distress call or provoking aggression. We just don't know. Something that we know with primates is that they have very distinct calls and vocalizations to express different things to members of the group. They make one that is specific to danger, like a predator, but it gets more and more complex. For example, there's one vocalization for a ground predator versus a tree predator. We'll see what it produces. Hopefully it's nothing aggressive. A lot of the stories in Kentucky involving Sasquatch, there seems to be a lot of aggression. There's a lot of instances where they are doing these charges or they are throwing rocks, sticks. There's an immediate feeling that you are not supposed to be here and someone's telling you to get lost. If you're ready to play that call. We are too. Sounds good. Give me about 60 second count. All right, sounds good. Started recording. I'm gonna turn it all the way up. And I'm gonna hit play. Nature's recognizing something, and they're responding to it. It's exactly what we want. You heard the coyotes, right? Yes. Yeah, we did hear the coyotes. Stand by. 10 seconds. I'm going to play that again. Be listening. There we go. Standing by. whistle, long-term whistle. All of the animals that I know that are here, none of them sound like that. Right. So. That sounded freaking I close. can't begin to explain what that was. I know all the animals that are here, and I could say without a question of the doubt that that sound didn't come from any known animal here.
there's sounds that are happening all around us. Sound like something moving down here. Let's really pay attention where it's coming from. I think there's one there. And there's another one over here. They're on either side of us. We are caught in the middle of two vocalizations. Copy. They have vocalizations on both sides of them, so they're in front and behind of where they're just traveling into. It sounds to me like they've actually placed themselves in the center of that attention. Did you hear that? Yeah. It's coming from that direction. I heard Paul's man. Did you hear that? Yeah, something. Something either fell or was thrown just now. There's definitely movement over here. I think something's coming up this way. I feel like we need to be on higher ground. All right, well then let's go that way. Well, it's definitely a vantage point for them to be up higher. Yeah. starting to think the sound we heard was back there but whoever had made that sound is probably coming around this way now because we keep on hearing those pops and cracks it's gonna go and here's it over here it's coming from over there now so you think whatever we heard up there is now down there yeah they're tracking us they're coming around now for a fact that if they call for me or they need my help, I go. 